Hey everyone, and welcome to our channel. Today we will take a deep look into India's fifth generation fighter aircraft program, the AMCA. So in the end we will also evaluate AMCA program in view of the Chinese sixth generation aircraft project. So watch till the end. The Advanced Medium Combat Aircraft or AMCA is a fifth generation stealth fighter jet that is conceived and developed domestically in India. The Indian Air Force formally initiated the project in 2009 with the objective of producing a sophisticated multi-role combat aircraft to substitute obsolete fleets and bolster India's aerial capabilities. Numerous fifth-generation fighter technologies, such as stealth shaping, internal weapon bays, sophisticated avionics, and potent jet engines, will be integrated into the AMCA. The AMCA prioritizes is stealth by designing its aircraft to produce minimal radar and infrared signatures. Internal weapon compartments, S-shaped air intakes, and the extensive use of radar-absorbing coatings and composite materials all contribute to this result. Designed for supercruise operation, the AMCA will be propelled by two cutting-edge jet engines with thrust vectoring capabilities for enhanced maneuverability. The AMCA initiative has witnessed substantial advancements throughout the previous decade. In 2016, wind tunnel testing was concluded in an effort to perfect the aerodynamic configuration. In 2019, a 1-to-1 one -one scale model showcasing the AMCA's covert profile and design was unveiled. A number of pivotal technologies, such as the Quartz Radomes, Mission Computer, EW Systems, and Utam AESA Radar, are undergoing development. Presently in production are two technology demonstrators that are anticipated to make their inaugural flight between 2025 and 2026. The Aeronautical Development Agency is spearheading the AMCA development with assistance from the Defense Research and Development Organization, Hindustan Aeronautics Limited, and a number of private organizations. Its capabilities will supplement those of the Indian Air Force's other sophisticated aircraft such as the Su-30 MKI, Rafal, and Tejas. It is possible that as many as 250 AMCAs will be built, with the initial squadron entering service in 2029 to 2030. At present, the Indian AMCA project is devising two variants, according to information at hand, a single-seat variant and the twin-seat variant. The AMCA is offered in this standard single-seat stealth fighter configuration. Strike operations and air superiority are its primary objectives. A second cockpit will be included in the twin-seat variant to accommodate a weapons systems operator or trainer. It will maintain the covert design and performance of the AMCA while augmenting the crew by one member. The twin-seat variant is designed for enhanced strike operations and pilot training. The single-seat variants are the prototypes and initial production models under development by AMCA project. The twin-seat variant is anticipated to be produced at a later stage of the development process. At this time, there are no intentions to develop further AMCA variants, such as a carrier-based naval version or other specialized functions. To meet its specific requirements, the Indian Navy is developing a distinct twin-engine deck-based fighter TEDBF, program. Nevertheless, in the event that the AMCA program advances favorably, certain analysts speculate that India might eventually produce additional iterations of the aircraft, analogous to the American F-35, which boasts numerous variants tailored to distinct branches of service. However, the current objective of the AMCA program is to fulfill the fifth-generation fighter requirements of the Indian Air Force by deploying the two baseline variants. Let us now talk about AMCA's design aspects. Key technologies and design elements of the Indian AMCA stealth fighter include the following. The AMCA is designed with an aerodynamic configuration that is specifically optimized to produce low radar, infrared, and visual signatures. Internal weapon compartments, S-shaped air intakes, edge alignment, and coatings of radar-absorbing material are included. The structure makes extensive use of composites, such as carbon fiber, to reduce weight and radar cross-section. Comprising approximately 25% of the aircraft's mass are composite materials. AMCA will be outfitted with sophisticated sensors, electronic warfare systems, and a cutting-edge AESA radar. These will be developed and designed locally. The AMCA avionics architecture will feature a substantial number of software components and will be network-centric. Data integration, decision aid systems, and connectivity with other assets will be facilitated. AMCA prototypes will be propelled by two GE-414 engines initially. It is intended that the production variants will be propelled by purpose-built engines that possess the capability to achieve supercruise flight. 
For subsequent iterations of production, India is developing a 120 knots thrust class engine that is particularly potent and designed for the AMCA. This AMCA engine initiative is under the direction of the Gas Turbine Research Establishment, a capacious internal compartment designed to house sophisticated air-to-air -air and air-to-ground weaponry for the purpose of preserving covert operations. The AMCA will be equipped with a helmet-mounted display, speech recognition, and a large area display, among other features. Composites and titanium alloys are utilized to create a lightweight, yet durable airframe capable of withstanding the stresses of covert flight. It is planned that the AMCA will have advanced sensors including IRST, MAWS, a radar altimeter, and a distributed aperture system will be installed on the AMCA. Let's understand if it has the possibility of manned, unmanned teaming. There are currently no concrete public plans to pair AMCA with unmanned platforms. The present focus appears to be on developing the baseline AMCA aircraft. Officials from the Aeronautical Development Agency and the Indian Air Force have stated that man-on-man -man teaming is planned for AMCA in the future. Showing their intent, ADA has indicated that AMCA's software architecture will include features for directing UCAV wingmen. The necessity for unmanned, loyal wingmen to augment human aircraft is a global operational requirement. India is already working on UCAV platforms such as the DRDO's Gutuk, which might potentially collaborate with AMCA later. While that final, man-on-man -man teaming is projected to become a need for AMCA over its service life, which runs from 2030 to 2060. While no formal plans have been published, design considerations and evolving requirements indicate that man-on-man -man teaming will be a very likely capability for AMCA in the future. This is one of the goals stated in the IAF's perspective documents. Now the question is AMCA too late to arrive? In a possible fighter jet technology scenario wherein the initial AMCA squadrons are established in 2030, additional J-10C, JF-17 Block III, and potentially a limited number of FC-31 stealth aircraft may have been inducted by that time. Notwithstanding this, F-16s continue to presumably serve as its backbone. China is maybe still using the J-20 stealth fighter as its primary operational aircraft. J-31 may enroll in restricted quantities. The upgraded J-10C and J-16 will serve as the foundation of the PLAF, even though it will face more adversaries of the fifth generation, the AMCA, with its network-centric capabilities and profound stealth, may remain competitive when it enters service around 2030. To compete, India would have to continue improving the AMCA's systems and develop a sixth-generation fighter. Let's evaluate the possibility of Chinese fielding a sixth-generation fighter by that time. By the year 2030 it is possible that China will have successfully developed or achieved in stage for its JXX stealth aircraft, which is also known as the next-generation fighter. Here are a few key observations. China publicly introduced its J-25th-generation fighter in 2011. It began flying around 2018. Assuming a timeline the development of the JXX 6th generation fighter might have started in the 2020s and could have been put into service during the 2030s, the JXX is expected to possess capabilities the ability to be operated by a smaller crew, an intricately integrated avionics system and advanced sensors such as AI and laser technology compared to the J-20. Additionally 6th generation technologies like swarm drones and directed energy weapons might also be incorporated. Even if China manages to deploy the JXX than anticipated it is unlikely that widespread implementation of this system will be achieved by 2030. It has been projected that by that time there will be 200 to 250 aircraft in China's J-20 fleet. In contrast if deployed the number of aircraft in China's JXX fleet might be than 100. As China works towards developing all desired sixth generation capabilities, for the JXX by the 2030s it is expected to encounter challenges. Sometimes there is a possibility of delays or shortcomings, in terms of capabilities. To prevent a severe technological disadvantage in comparison to opponents, India can increase the AMCA's capabilities during the next decade, while China may be at the forefront of developing sixth-generation fighter technologies. Active participation in international sixth-generation research endeavors, as well as domestic projects like ADA's TEDBF naval fighter, will be critical. The AMCA will provide the Indian Air Force with an indigenous stealth fighter capability, thereby serving as a formidable force multiplier. It symbolizes the expansion of India's aviation sector and the nation's pursuit of defense technology independence. India will derive immense value from the knowledge and expertise acquired during the AMCA project, 
as it strives to develop more sophisticated combat aircraft in the coming years. In the future decades, the AMCA is anticipated to be a strategic asset that will bolster India's military strength and defense readiness. Do you think AMCA will be relevant by the time it joins the Indian Air Force fleet in large numbers? Let us know in the comments. And if you like this content, please subscribe to the channel and share and like the videos.